Hello students. In the last video, we gave you a brief introduction to what indices or exponents are and how to evaluate them uh, both with paper and pencil and also using a calculator. In this video and in the following videos, we're going to introduce you to what are called the index laws which are just shortcut ways of simplifying or evaluating expressions involving powers. So let's go ahead and look at the first index law. So the question says, simplify the following expressions. So I've got two to the power of three times two to the power of two. Well, the best way to actually do this to start with is to expand it. So two by two by two is two to the power of three times 2 to the power of 2. Well, I've got altogether 5 2's multiplied together. That can be simplified as 2 to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2 gives us 2 to the power of 5. And again, what we're looking for here is a shortcut. So we don't have to do this middle step of expanding it out. Let's try this one. 3 to the power of 4 is 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 times 3 to the power of 1. And again, if I want to write that in index form, it's just 3 to the power of 5. Now, hopefully you can see a pattern in these two answers. Even though I'm multiplying, in order to multiply two times, sorry, two to the power of three times two to the power of two, three and two gives me five. I have to add the powers and not multiply them. And that's because we really have three twos multiplied together, two twos multiplied together. Altogether, we have five twos multiplied together. Here we have four threes multiplied and one three, total of five threes multiplied together. So what do you reckon the answer to this one is without expanding? Well, I've got five sevens multiplied together. I've got nine sevens multiplied together. In total, I'm going to have five plus nine sevens multiplied together. And that gives us 14 sevens multiplied together. So there's a little shortcut. Now this works for three factors as well. How many twos do I have multiplied together? Well, I've got three there, another five, and another six, whoops, and another six. So how many twos all together? Well, 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So this gives you, or this basically shows us what the first index law is, which is to multiply powers that have the same base, such as this here. The shortcut is add the indices. To multiply powers with the same base, add the indices. Now what I would like you to do is in your maths exercise book, turn to a clean page. At the top of it, write the title index laws and copy this down. So basically, we're going to have six index laws in this set of videos. And here's the first one. To multiply powers that have the same base, add the indices. And then on the right, we've got an example. So two to the power of three times two to the power of five, we add the three and the five to get the power of eight. So two to the power of eight. And you could probably guess that the most common mistakes, most common mistake that students will make with this is they see the multiply sign, they wanna go three times five and write two to the power of 15. And hopefully from what we did on the last page, you realize that that, in fact, is not correct. OK, let's go ahead now and use our rule for multiplying powers with the same base. 
So 3 to the power of 7 times 3 to the power of 6. Using the rule, it means we can just add the indices. And that gives us 3 to the power of 13. If we'd expanded that, we would have had to write 7 3s and 6 3s all multiplied together which can be written as 3 to the power of 13. So this saves us the time of having to expand it. Similarly, in this one, 9 to the power of 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is 10, so that's 9 to the power of 10. Okay, stop the video and have a go at the remaining three questions on your own, please. Okay, welcome back students. Now in this question here, notice there's no power on the 7. Well, I've got one 7 there, so I can put the power in there. So if there's no power on a number, um, the implied power is 1. So this is going to be 7 raised to the power of 2 plus 3 plus 1. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. That's 7 to the power of 6. This one here, I've got 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 4th. So that's just going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I could have written that, of course, as 4 times 4 because that's what multiply means. I've got uh, 4 fours, And that's going to be 5 to the power of 16. And with the last one, the problem here is I've got two different bases. Well, this shortcut or this rule only works if we have the same base. So I can apply it to those. Again, the order in which you multiply things doesn't make any difference. So I can go three squared. So I three to the fourth times three squared is three to the four plus two. And then times and I can multiply 2 cubed times 2 to the 6th. And that's going to give us 3 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 9. So first index law, to multiply powers that have the same base, add the indices. Okay, now in this slide, what I want to, the purpose of it is to differentiate between the instruction, simplify these expressions and evaluate these expressions. So a common mistake that students make when they're first learning about indices is they'll always just simplify even if the instruction means to evaluate. So to simplify means leave the answer as a power. So that's going to be 2 to the power of 3 plus 2, or 2 to the power of 5. So we don't actually work out what that equals, but if we're asked to evaluate that, we can get 2 to the power of 5 first. And then what we have to do is turn that into a number. So I'm going to do this one in my head. I've got to multiply 5 twos together. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. And of course, if you're allowed to use calculators in your class, you could have used a calculator to evaluate that as well. OK, you have a go at the uh, other questions on the page, please. OK, let's see how you went. Once again, index laws only apply if the bases are the same. So that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 plus 3, which is 2 to the power of 5, and just times 3 squared. So that's the simplified expression for that. Now, if we're asked to evaluate that, we can simplify it first, as we did before. And then we have to work out, well, what is 2 to the power of 5, which is 32? We, we did that up there. And 3 to the power of 2 is 9. 
and you need to multiply 32 times 9. So let's just use the calculator to assist us with that one. And that evaluates to be 288. So in this particular, in this video, sorry, we worked out or we discovered or learned the first index law and gave a quick reminder of the difference between simplifying and evaluating expressions.